Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, you're here at the Evil Ted channel. I have a special guest. This is Commander Holly Conrad. Uh, big fan, also a celebrity. Yeah, oh, first, oh my god, please. First celebrity I have on my show so far. Stop. But anyway, Holly said, hey Ted, I want to make a pattern for a costume, but I want to make a big pattern. How would I go about doing that? I said, you know something? I can show her. And while I show her, I can show you right here on the Evil Ted channel. Okay, Holly, show me what you got. So this is this is Brewster right here. Okay. Um, I've got this picture, and then also this one, which I think the proportions are more doable in this picture. So because of the size, the, he's got super. Oh, oh okay. Go, well, but okay, go back from it. So the, his actual body goes tapers extremely. It does a little but, and bit. What, yeah. And so you have something you want to hang from below that, or? Um, he's got an apron. So the one I thing I'm, re I'm realizing is that he does. He has a dip in. He has. Um, Show me your side profile again real quick here. See, he does, okay, there's a slight dip. Now we have this bigger. My next step is to here, take this guy like so. And for all you people at home, exacto blade. The voila. There it is. Got my pattern. So now the next step is styrofoam. All right, there it is, styrofoam. Cool. Now, okay, what we do? We're gonna trace this sucker out. Hit it just... down. That's smart. Yes, that's my things. I like to do some. My pattern doesn't shift to me. We got that. This is our piece. All right. This is the cool thing. Now we're gonna go use some power tools. All right. There's the bean shape, and now the trusty. I'm gonna yell a little bit because here comes the bandsaw noises. Here it comes. Here it goes. <laughs> And there's our bean shape, at least the profile. It's cool. Now that we have this profile, mm. we now, no matter what we do, we're going to have that shape. So what we have to do is just tailor it like this. All right, there it is. Now we know this is our profile. So he's tapered quite a bit. So what I'm going to do, I feel pretty good. Now, this is where sanding sticks come in handy. I have made some sanding sticks. This is uh, 80 grit. And also, if you guys, if you should uh, wonder where I got this, I make these. And you guys can check this out on eviltedsmith.com. Uh, evil. You got uh, 80 grit sandpaper. I have a tools of the trade video. It shows you how to make this. So, now, what, here's where it happens. I got 80 grit on this. All right, here we go. We're doing my last pass. Uh, we got it all sanded down to where he liked it. I think Holly signed off on it. And here it is. So, Got our ingredients, aluminum foil, and duct tape. So we're gonna start with this guy. Little bean. I'm gonna do the duct tape in thin strips because I don't want the tape to gather up so much. Right, right. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna do thin strips of duct tape. Because I don't want, because duct tape has a tendency to buckle yeah. when you're putting the tape on it top of it. It gets really thick, yeah. I tape guess, on top of tape doesn't work. Like, duct, duct tape gets weird when you start doing that. Right, so what I want to do is I want to minimize our overlap for our pattern. All right, Holly and I decided on this side, because we're making our patterns, there, you can see it, it's all covered, and these little registration marks, how we went about doing this is I picked the center, Holly helped me. We traced it, got it nice and square as we did before. Now, what I'm doing is, uh, is our cut lines, and I broke it up into two parts. You ready, Holly? I'm ready. All right. We're going to cut our bird right smack dab in the middle. Here we go, right down the middle on my line. And boom, there he goes. Now, here's our section. Our potato. That's the first part. It's magical. <laughs> and there they are. Hooray! As you can see, now, okay. All right, what we have now, I um, realized to put these patterns, I need to transfer these patterns onto uh, this clear acetate right here. 
And in doing that, I don't want to spray glue them, I want to pin them, so I put a piece of foam down, and being I'm doing dark sharpie, I do a dark background, I put a piece of paper underneath it, so I can see where my lines are going. Now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and take this, and we're going to project this under the wall and plot out exactly what is it, about four feet. So we're going to transfer this, and also, as we trace this out, we'll be able to clean a lot of this stuff up. So we have it right here. I'm going to lay it on the overhead projector. Turn this guy on. Ooh, and there it is. And what this does, as you notice, it projects there. Now we realize for the height of this costume, what was that, Holly? How tall was this thing you wanted to be? Um, we realized that it should be about four feet, five inches. All right, can you double check that for me real yeah. quick? So we uh, projected it. And Holly's going to say, that's about the size of the pattern it needs to be. Yep, it's about four feet and five inches. All right, there. So all we have to do now is focus this. Uh, now we're going to, Holly's going to take a pin and very patiently, we're going to trace this pattern out on the piece of paper we have on the wall. As a matter of fact, we've got the big roll of paper. That's craft paper. You can get that at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any kind of scrap stores. But we actually got a good white piece of paper, which is nice because we get both sides of our pattern on one sheet. Okay, there it is. Granted, I know you can barely see it because it's done with a pencil, but I'm going to go back in. Holly got it all traced out. This looks great, Holly. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> now we actually got the size that we want. The next thing is to go ahead and just uh, pull it off. And I suggest we just go ahead and pull it, lay it on the floor and cut out with a pair of scissors. All right, there it is. Holly we got the paper pattern. We laid it all out, as you can see. And we went ahead, labeled it, transferred it to our front. And this is our top. So you can see right here, Holly, they started pinning the you know, light laid out, which is good. But what you do with a pattern, we're only doing one side. We have one side, so when she puts, so we decided this is going to be the right, so we said front right. So when she goes to transfer this for the left, she flips the pattern upside down, like so. Flips it, writes it, transfers it. Now it's front left. So everything on the pattern, to keep things symmetrical, we just flipped it. So now I'm going to go through and transfer to both sides, right and left, on all our pieces of foam. And next we'll be starting to cut out the glue. And uh, <laughs> in theory, this all goes together. It should remotely look the shape that we made out of styrofoam, right? Remotely, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. As you see this piece of foam, we're going to cut this big guy out, and I'll show you a little trick. This is an inch and a half, and what I like to do when I'm cutting this, something this deep, you go this way, but I like to kind of get in here to get this guy. I kind of take this blade right on the edge, and I kind of go back and forth a little bit. As you keep doing it, you'll keep going back and forth till it touches the bottom. You realize you're there, and you just kind of go. Yeah. Okay, um, this is Holly's uh, piece here, and I want to show a little trick that I've learned. We're doing spray glue on a big dark piece like this. You want to make sure you get glue in here, and so what I've done but before you spray it, take the piece and pull it back like this, see? So therefore, you're able to get in, so I just kind of go like this, hold the part, my spray glue. I like to kind of get back a little bit of a distance. Nice even spray. That's why there's visqueen plastic on the ground, because stuff goes everywhere. And then, get that sprayed. Do the same thing, bend this guy again. Get right in the edge, right in there. Nice and even spray, like spray paint. And then we do this. This is our high-tech drying procedure. Okay. Now here's the other part. Come a little closer, I can show you. One line these seams up. I'm dealing with a half-inch foam. And when you push them together, um, start with the top edge. You can see it. So what I do is I always make sure the top edge, and I can pull it in toward me like this. Makes it easier. Line my part up, touch it. Touching, touch edge, touch edge. Got it, got it. Keep going, see? Keep going, touch. And then, once I get this, you go inside out, like that. And there it is. And uh, that seems to hold really well. All right, keep going. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Moment of truth. Yeah, so this looks like a big giant bean. Yeah. I don't know. 
that this Look at there that. it is, the giant bean. <laughs> it's so cute. Ta da! That's it literally uh, looks here, like Holly, a giant. Hold. It looks like a giant peanut. <laughs> hold it for me for a second. See, same out. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's a big brown thing. <laughs> I'll start from this. So it's kind of close. A little bit of a divot there. If you see, it kind of comes in a little bit. Yeah. It might. I know she might want to go and maybe cut it and make it a little deeper, but it's not bad. It's pretty close. So. <laughs> well, excellent. I was glad. I was glad to help. I'm glad Thank this you, all Ted. worked out. Thank you for all your help. We did this in a day, you guys. Yeah. So, yeah. We started this. This uh, was a day. We started at 11 ish, and it's like 7:30 now. It is. A, oh a no, it's, it's actually 7:51. Oh, it's not wow. bad. But it's good. So we got it all pretty much blocked out. And I was. I think Holly was nuts. She. She was like, I don't know if we're gonna have it today. But we did, so. Yeah, there we go. So now we just need to cut a hole and arm holes. Right. And that's it. We got it cut, I tailored made a little slot for her, and Holly got into it. Ta da! Look at that, that's crazy. Now, Holly, what is that again? Huh? What are you? <laughs> um, a giant potato. No. <laughs> I'm a, well, it's supposed to be Brewster from Animal Crossing. Okay. So I'll have a little beak and right. little tiny feet and little bird wings. All right. And uh, glasses and a mustache and big eyebrows and, and a coffee cup. There it is. I'm a bird barista. There it is. So we actually did a little struggle, but uh, you guys saw what we do. We started with the foam shape, we sanded it, made a template, made our patterns, we transferred it onto transparency, projected it, oversized it. Kind of. We had a little trouble gluing, we had a little bit of a dilemma, but we figured out what our problems were. We figured it out. We figured it out. It's a trick with labeling. We had to make sure we labeled when we had some things labeled incorrectly and we kind of had a mishap, but we got it together. Got all glued together and it's done. So once again, that, Holly, thanks so much. It was a blast. And I love that. Thanks for helping me, Ted. You got it, guys. Hey guys, catch you next time right here on the Evil Ted channel.